We are uh, here breaking ground on a new school. It's going to be in an old building, but it's going to be a great new school. And uh, the new principal and founder of the Beacon School, Ruth Lacey, is here with us. Ruth, come over here and wave so that they can see. A New York City woman lives in the city, uh, went to public schools, LaGuardia College. Is that right? LaGuardia. Music and art. Let's Music go back and us. that far. Uh, go back that go. far. You know, a woman like her in her late 20s, you can understand that. Thank you was the right answer. Thank you. You're welcome. You. you and I were there together, I think. Uh, I think so. I think we were uh, alternate rooms or uh, joining rooms but this in the maternity. is the 20th year that Beacon exists. Good. So it's modern. That's okay. Uh, founded in 1993, if you really want to know. It currently occupies space at West 61st Street, and it is one of those screened admission schools with nearly 99% of the students graduating within four years, and 82% go on to college. It is also so popular that it's very overcrowded. Enrollment is something like 1,162, if my memory serves me well, in a building designed for 837 students. So they are uh, almost, uh, you know, way, way oversubscribed. Uh, in August of 2011, the School Construction Authority paid the New York Public Library $45 million for this six-story, 200,000-square-foot warehouse on West 43rd Street. Uh, it is going to be gutted and converted into 50 classrooms, an auditorium, and other school amenities. And we're also adding a gym on top of the building. And the school will be designed to accommodate nearly 1,500 students, including 120 special ed students. And Skanska USA has an a, a $88 million contract to build a new school scheduled to open in September of 2011.